All right, we're here at the lake. A couple of bugs bugging me, but that's all right. Uh, so here we are. We're going to launch out. We got the kayak ready to go. We got uh, six or seven traps for this. I think it's six. Um, four leg hold, two kind of bear. Um, we're going to give it a shot. It's a little ways, um, maybe almost a mile to the island that we're supposed to be trapping. So we'll give it a shot. But here we go. I'm, uh, I'm finally here. It's ready to roll. And by the way, it's a balmy 54 degrees, a slight breeze, and it's uh, pushing 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So we got a slow start, but here we go. All right, so we made it to the island that we were told that we'd find the best beaver sign. And sure enough, right when we got up to it, there was beaver sign. Uh, I'm going to check it out real quick, but I'm probably going to go all the way around the island and look for some better spots. But let's just check out what we found right away. There's definitely some beaver chewing in here. Um, those are some really old ones. In a little ways, I saw some pretty fresh ones. But like I said, I'm going to keep going around and seeing what else I find. So we're just going to, you know, take a look. But there's definitely beaver sign here. It just isn't real fresh. Well, as always, <laughs> looks like I just kayaked a mile into the wind for nothing. Uh, I saw one spot where it was very fresh and... I mean, it's a hundred yards from houses. There's no trespassing signs all over the other side of the island. I, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to sit here, but at least not until I get confirmation that I do have permission and, you know, this is the spot he wanted me to be. So. All right, moving on. I'm going to kayak back and we'll head off to the next spot. Here we go. It's not every day that you see loons. At least not where I live. So I just had a pair of loons. There's the other one right there. They sure are big birds, eh? Big fish ducks. Alright, I don't want to bug them too much. I'm out of here. Definitely a lot of nesting geese here. All right, well, we did find some more sign here, some decent sign. Uh, this is a big feed pile, and there is an old lodge there, Bank Den Lodge, whatever. There's a huge channel going up into it, and then another one between that stump and that leaning tree. There's another deep channel going up in there, so they must have a bank den in there also it's probably just one giant bank den but anyway i'm gonna wait and find out there is some fresh chewings for sure um here's a little bit more of a feed pile but this is older um i'm gonna get affirmed permission but there's definitely some beaver in here there's no question so all right moving on i accidentally just pushed this swan off of her nest sure if I can see her in the camera. No, she's hiding. There she is. But she's got a nest over here. I don't want to bug her too much. So. so I have learned not to be too much of an optimist when it comes to checking out places where somebody says, oh, it's amazing. <laughs> Let me show you this. I got to the boat launch. There's more sign at this boat launch than there was on the entire lake I was just at. Check this out. You can't complain about driving up to a boat launch and having this as your meeting. <laughs> There's more sign here within 35 or 40 feet of this boat launch than there is at the entire other lake. So there's a bunch of cuttings over there, or chewings I mean, and uh, then there's a bunch here. I'm thinking... I'm going to put some caster mounds in down just right along this shore right here. So, all right, let's get moving. A beautiful marsh. Man, what a beautiful marsh. Some 
A couple of eagles getting chased by some little birds. That's always exciting. Tons of ducks. Sorry about the paddling. There's just tons of ducks. I'm not sure if that's all four eagles or not. It sure looks like it, doesn't it? I know at least two of them are. I just saw a nice flight of ducks come over here and land in this back channel, which is where we're heading looking for beaver sign. What a beautiful marsh, man. Northern Michigan at its finest. All right, let's go check out this creek. Now that's what I'm talking about. Finally. Two huge. Two huge beaver dens. Lodges, whatever you call them. There's another one over there. Holy smokes. All right, let's get in here and get some traps set. All right, so this one is way back in the swamp. And there's another one there. And then the ones that I was looking at earlier are over there. They look a little less used. But I'm thinking this is going to be a spot for 3.30 or 2. And uh, there's just so many channels coming in and out of here. I guess I'm going to be setting. I only brought two 3.30s with me and a bunch of leg holds. So I'm going to have to figure something out. But man alive, look at this place. I kind of doubt it's going to show up on film. But there is a super deep channel cutting through there. And then it goes under like a, um, I don't know, like a root bank or something. And it comes back around and just goes basically all the way around this lodge. Um, and then there's this nice little walking trail right here. It goes over to that other lodge. So I just went in over my hip waders, um, went right up to my butt. And I'm telling you right now, that was not fun. But I'm going to put a caster mound right there. Um, and then I'm going to get a 330 in this channel. It looks just narrow enough right there to be perfect. Um, and then I'm going to try to get over there somehow without going swimming. Okay, there is a leg hold with Alpha Delta. Um, I'm telling you, you guys... Some of you guys that trap beaver, I look at the places you trap versus the places I trap, and I think, man alive, how come I can't find a place like that? And there's the, uh, there's a 330, and I gotta get out of here. Uh, I gotta get over to that other lodge, try to set another couple traps. Man, it took me forever to do that. I had to, like, I had to build a platform to do it so I had a nice channel for them to swim in. And even then, my trap's a little crooked, but I think it'll be all right. I think I'll probably use that channel right there next. So, all right, here we go. All right, I'm gonna put a blind set in right here, I think. Uh, it looks like they've been crossing right here, I think. Unless it's muskrat. Um, but man, I don't know, I, can, I don't know if you can see how deep this is, it's ridiculous. I don't know how I could ever do a set down there. Look at this, here's my pal. Okay, that's but it hits the muck about right there. That's like almost six feet deep. I'm just gonna hey look a caster mount. Holy crap! Let's put a caster mount in right here. I'll be darned. So I totally destroyed that caster mount, and uh, I used some of it to help build mine. And uh, the trap, you see a little fencing there, probably too much fencing, but. It is what it is, and uh, we're gonna go from there. All right, now I gotta try to get over there to the river and see what I can find over there. So, here we go. Well, it looks like they tried to take the dam out. They got a lot of it out, but man alive, not, not enough to matter, really. They just filled it in. But you can see that whole shoreline They've just been destroying the trees up there. All the way across, man. So I was pulling up to this uh, bank den that's gone now. I'm going to show it to you. But I look down, look at there, there's a Petoskey stone. 
that's something you don't find every day. As a matter of fact, that's the first one I've ever found this far away from one of the Great Lakes. So, it's kind of a cool find, eh? So you can see these channels. Um, it's kind of interesting. I was just up in that one right there. But this is an old bank den. And I think when they took the dam out, it must have really lowered the water level because this is like high and dry up in here. But man, look. Look at the trails and the tunnels. Pretty cool. I've never, never seen this. There's a nice tunnel right there. Snag an otter in that baby, maybe. I don't see any fresh tracks. Although it's cloudy. The water's cloudy, so... I mean, you know what? Maybe there's still something living in there. That being said, we're definitely putting a trap here. There's no question about that. Um, I got one 330 left. And I think it's going to go right there. So you can also see they're going up underneath that tree there. All right, let's get a couple traps set. All right, there's the set. The 330, now you'd probably say, hey, why didn't you just put it right at the mouth? And I'm thinking if there is more than one beaver in here, I want them to have a chance to get out. Because um, I'm only going to be here for a couple of days. So my next set's going to be on that little nub right there. I'm going to put a caster mound right there. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, there you go. Another caster mound. This one's got uh, the hammer, beaver lure, out here to my rod with a cable in between. That's the Dan Davis preferred method, so we're going to try that today. And, uh, all right, I got one more trap to set on the way back. I'm going to set right there by the boat launch, so. All right, it's getting about to be late, so I got to get rolling. Well, that was a long day. Um, I went over my waders, my hip waders a couple times. I fell down a couple times. I, um, I'm exhausted. I didn't even get that many traps out, but... I got two more than I thought I was going to, so I guess that's not too bad. Um, you know what? We'll give it a shot. They blew that dam out, and I didn't see any tracks. saw lots of sign, but I didn't see any tracks, which kind of bothers me. So I'm hoping there's a couple beaver in there. I think there is. I don't know. But, hey, it's trapping the mitten, if nothing else, so... Uh, thanks for being here, and uh, I'll be back in uh, what's going to soak for two nights, and I'll be back. So we'll go from there. Welcome back, Trap in the Mitten. We are on our way to go pick up those traps. I had planned on letting them sit for a couple more days after today. I was going to check them today and then go back on Thursday, but unfortunately, um, I'm fighting a bit of a head cold, and I decided, you know what, we're just going to pull them. We're done a couple days early for the season, but that's okay. We've had a great season. Um, even if we don't catch any beaver up here today, we'll, we've had just a great season. So I'm glad you're here. Let's go check them out. I'll see you guys in about two and a half hours. All right, we made it to the lake, and uh, we made pretty good time, two and a half hours. The wind is, of course, right in our face on the way out there. Hopefully that means it'll be in our back on the way home, but in my experience, it'll shift before I'm done, and it'll basically be in our face the whole time. So that's just how it is for me. All right, here we go. Let's go check what we got. Man, my trapping is never a dull moment. Let me show you what I'm doing right here. Just a second. I've gone about, oh, I don't know, maybe 15 yards through this. This is a bog. Um, <laughs> If you make a wrong step, you're in like eight feet of water. So I'm trying to stand on the grass heads, but every now and again you come to a place where the grass heads give way and you're swimming, which is why I'm wearing chest waders today instead of hip boots. But that's the lodge where we have two of the three traps right here, and then the third one is just past that. So we're almost there. Another 10 yards to go. All right. This is where I found that other caster mound. You can see something that's been banging on this one. And the trap is now gone. Um, yeah, Lord knows where everything's at. I see the cable's nice and tight down there. Um, 
Let me give her a pull, see what happens. Woo! Something's on there. Okay, Alpha Delta strikes again. This is just a young one. Look at the size of that tail. It's just a little one. A little one-year-old, maybe. Um, maybe last spring's kit. But, hey, rear foot catch on a TS-85. Alpha Delta bringing home... Uh, well, Alpha Delta's brought home four out of the five beaver I caught. So, can't complain about that. Okay, I apologize for the wind. You may remember that uh, I put a uh, caster mount on that piece of uh, chewing there. And you can see it's been totally obliterated. That stick that's kind of laying up against that pile over there, that was my post to tie my cable off to. And I'm afraid to step too much closer, but I don't see anything down there. But I see the cable's nice and tight, so let me pull this up and we'll see what's down there. Holy smokes, look at the size of this brute. He's an old scrapper too, look at that tail. Guys, that's a big beaver. <laughs> oh, he's definitely a good sized beaver, I mean, He's just thick. Like, I can't even tell you, like, I've caught a couple of, you know, 40 to 47 pounders. And let me tell you, this one is, he's heavier. He doesn't look any bigger, but man, he's just a big boy. Whew. All right, we got one more trap to check this conibear bear over here. I got a feeling there's going to be nothing in it just because I've never, never had good luck with conibears bears underwater, even from muskrats. But... Here we go, we got two for two. Oh, by the way, both of them, Alpha Delta. Two for two on Alpha Delta today. All right, well, we got two out of three. Oh, let me tell you, that's a heck of a slog <laughs> through this marsh. It's, whew, it's a bog, not a marsh. That warmed me out. Here we go, we got several more to check, and then uh, that's the end of our season, so. Not a bad day so far. Well, of course, here we go. The wind has shifted a little bit. It's gonna be a crosswind once we get out of this channel, but yeah, pretty much gonna fight the wind both ways. Hooray! We ended up with two beavers. Um, I should have known to put more sets over there by those lodges, but I didn't. I put uh, most of my sets over here by this dam, and that was a mistake because there's nothing over here. So, oh well, I'm glad we got two, and uh, now it's time to get back to that boat launch. There is no question in my mind that's the biggest beaver I got this year. He is huge. Unfortunately, my scale is nowhere near me, and I think I'm going to have him cleaned. We're going to go clean him over at my buddy's house just a couple miles away. I hope he has a scale. But even his face looks older, you know? I'm thinking this is a full-on adult, you know, not a two-year-old. Maybe This might even be older than three. I don't know. But that is a big beaver. Especially when you compare it to a little one-year-old. Little baby. Whew. All right. Beautiful lake. That's it guys, that's the end of the 22-23 trapping season right there. I'm loading up the car right now, picking up everything. Um, we did pretty well, it was a good year. Uh, I'll do a recap here in the next couple of weeks just to get it all done, but um, that was beavers five and six. Uh, all but one was caught on uh, Alpha Delta. So, Dan Davis, thank you very much. You really, uh, you really made it happen for me this year, and I can't wait to try it again next year. So we got, uh, so we got six beavers, two otters. I think it was 52 rats, um, four raccoon, three coyote, two possum. And I know I'm missing stuff, but I can't think of anything else right now. So, all right, I got to load up, you guys. I'll be with you later. And uh, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed yet, I appreciate a subscription. 
doesn't cost anything makes me happy don't but I actually prefer it if you like and comment that's even better uh, hey this is trapping the mitten I appreciate you guys another great season down and uh, now we get the fun part of cleaning up so woohoo